So basically three years ago, I made my first ever game and it was the scratch clicker game. It was a very basic clicker. It had a whole bunch of upgrades. You could also upgrade the head to then get different colored heads to get even more dollar per click. And there was even a high score. And one of the first things that really got me into Scratch was when I made this game, everybody in my class started playing it. And it kind of become a competition to see who could get the new high score. So today I'm going to completely recreate the game from Scratch and try and make it as good as possible just to see how much I've improved. I want to add different classic Scratch heads which you can unlock. And I want to completely revamp the upgrade system and a whole bunch more. So I'm going to stop yappering on and let's start making the game. So let's start by just kind of slicing his body from his head so the first thing you need in a clicker is obviously to be able to click so if we make it so that it changes size when we click it and then we add a new variable called in fact in the original it was uh dollars so actually screw dollars on british let's put pounds okay so now when we press play and we click we get a nice little animation and the pound sign goes up by one perfect Right, so in the original we had upgrades. Now I kind of want to change it because before it was like all on one page, but I don't really want that. I want a bunch of different pages you can scroll through. But I'm going to go ahead and design some icons, which we're going to use to switch between each menu down here. All right, so now we have these little icons down here, and this will change the page variable. Now depending on what the page variable is, it will tell whatever needs to be on that page to hide or show. So now if we press upgrades, then the page will turn to two and then our clicker will disappear and if i go back the clicker returns so this opens up a whole bunch of possibilities this will allow us to add more content to the game and generally build a better experience so i think the next step is to start actually adding some upgrades now these aren't going to be your conventional upgrades because you're going to have to unlock them before you can actually start using them but the more expensive the upgrade you unlock the better the upgrade is actually going to be Okay, so I've added the first upgrade. So if we go here to the upgrade page, you'll see that we got all these upgrades. Now, I've only designed one upgrade, so all of these will be different when I've actually made them. But for now, as placeholders, they're just there as it is. But as you can see, I made a little move 10 steps block. We have the title of the block. We have what type of upgrade there is, because there's going to be different types of upgrades. Then how much it costs and how much it's going to change your dollar per click by. And now that we have 100, we can press buy and then it changes the dollar per click by two and minus is 100 pounds from our bank account and i can see here i've uh, obviously made a mistake ah oh, obviously so each upgrade is going to be a different block and they'll get more expensive as a starting price but even though their starting price is more expensive they're actually going to be more cost efficient than using the original one and if we go back here we can click and you can see we get two per click so now i'm going to design a whole bunch of new blocks and set up each one of these variables and try and make it as balanced as possible. So now we've designed all the upgrades. We have move 10 steps, go to random position, point in direction, when green flag clicked, when this sprite clicked, and forever. You can see here what I'm planning to do with each one. These first three are going to be upgrading how much you get per click. Then the next two will be upgrading how much you get per second. Now the holy forever will upgrade the chance of a golden clicker, which I haven't added yet. But the idea is, much like Cookie Clicker, a random golden head will appear, you'll click it, and then you'll get like three times the amount you get per second and how much you get per click as well. So I'm going to go ahead and finish doing these first three, and then I'll add the idle clickers. So now we have all of the upgrades working apart from the golden clicker chance. And I'll show that to you if I just spawn in some hacks real quick. So now if I buy an upgrade that changes how much you get per second, you then start getting £1 per second. And then this will increase until eventually you buy one of these, and then you start making a whole bunch per second. So now for the last one in the upgrades, we just have to work out the golden clicker. But we don't actually have a golden clicker yet, we just have this guy. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to just take the scratch head, make a new sprite, and then make it gold. That looks gold enough to me. So here we have our golden scratch cat. So now we just got to get it to randomly spawn somewhere on the screen after a certain amount of time. So obviously we want to be able to upgrade how long it takes for the golden clicker to appear. So I have a variable here called 
don't click a chance which defaults at 80. So 80 is the max amount of time that it can spawn, but then if we put a divide in and then put 1.1, that should be, yeah, 72 point blah, 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 blah. So now we've got it spawning in somewhere in that 80 second range. Then it's gonna change size and get bigger and smaller just to kind of catch their attention so they know to like kind of interact with it. We're gonna wait, I don't know, let's say, you get 20 seconds of golden clicker. Actually, nah, screw you, man. You only get 12. Now we just gotta wait for it to show up on the screen. And hopefully, everything should be working. And there it is. Click it. Hey, it works. So now I'm gonna do a bit more boring variable work and get this final upgrade running. So that final upgrade is finished. You can now decrease the time that it takes for the golden clicker to come about. But to be honest, through testing, I kind of feel like clicking is just kind of unresponsive. Because we've got all this unused empty space. So I think we're going to have to change that. So I'm going to start adding an effect when you click the button. And make it so that little scratch heads just kind of like fall in the background. I feel like it'll be a real nice touch. Alright, so that was really easy. All I had to do was create a clone every time you click the button. And I added this little chunk of code, which makes this little nice effect. As you can see, they they twist in a random direction, they slowly fall, and as they fall, they slowly become more transparent. So now that that's done, we can start working on getting different heads. Now for this, I want to implement gambling. And just like that, we have an icon for it. And notice how it's the only one with color. That's just a, a little marketing technique called color stimulation. But we're going to have a slot machine where you can essentially win heads. And each head will have different buffs. So some will increase your pound per click. Some will increase your pound per second. And then I think I might just make a god head which does both. So I'm going to start making the heads and start designing the slot machine. We've got Scratch Cat obviously. Then we've got Giga. Then we've got Gobo. And then we've got the almighty Nano. And then we've got the gold versions of them. And then for the slots, we got the exact same, but then we got this big X and a dog. He was basically just there to taunt you when you don't win. I mean, just look at the smirk on his face. He knows what he's done. So now that I've got that all designed, I'm going to have to start coding in the actual gambling system, which is obviously going to be rigged because gambling is rigged. Do not gamble, kids. <laughs> it ain't worth it. So I'm going to start on that, and I'm going to come back to you when I have some sort of working prototype. Alright, so the heads are finally done. Now these you're going to be able to select, but obviously you can't right now because you haven't unlocked any. So they're blocked off from us at the moment. But if we go over to the gambling tab, which details all the information about the statistics of each head. So if we start rolling and try to unlock one, which hopefully we'll have enough money for. Oh, there we go, we've unlocked Nano, which is the best one. And now you can see, we can select them. Now, this guy gives you plus 50% pound per click and pound per second. And as you can see, the heads fall in the background just like before. And then we can switch back and then it goes back to one pound per click. And that's basically done. That's everything I wanted to add. So I think we've got a fully completed game. So if you want to give it a go, I'll leave a link down in the description. And please subscribe because it helps me keep motivation. Let me know what else you'd want me to make, because I made a clicker now, that's that's done off the list. And who knows, maybe if you give a good suggestion, I'll give you a little credit in the video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next devlog.